from first person mode to creative 2.0. Here are 24 updates coming up in chapter 4 season 2. Please like, subscribe and use code SMJM. It has been pretty much confirmed that we are going to get first person mode in the next season because usually every season 2 we get something that is game changing. For example last chapter season 2 we got no build mode and that changed the game completely and I'm pretty sure first person mode is going to do the same thing and the reason why I know that first person mode is coming to the game. First of all, in the trailer of chapter 4, we saw this teaser and also this clip was actually found in the files by the leakers and these clips aren't taken on the replay mode, they're actually first person mode. And also one thing we are going to get if we get the first person mode, that is weapon charms. Now, obviously weapon charms did not make sense when you only had the third person mode because you can't really see the weapons properly. This allows a Fortnite to sell weapon charms in the item shop. They're going to make more money. It only makes sense. Now, lots of people are suggesting that the chapter 4 Fortnite map is going to get bigger and bigger as we move on through the seasons. Now, obviously, we saw the zero point forge at this Fortnite map by bringing different parts of the map from different dimensions. And when chapter 4 season 1 started, a lot of people noticed something very obvious. And yes, I'm talking about the size of the Fortnite map. It is significantly smaller than the chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3 map. Now, lots of leakers are suggesting that every season we are going to see a new part getting added to this map, and those new parts are going to be the new locations. Some people are suggesting that we are going to see OG locations, like Pleasant Park, Retail Row, and there's something in the files that suggests that we might see the return of Tilted Towers again. Now, obviously, this season augments slash perks has been game changing everyone is loving this new mechanic you can expect a lot more crazy augments next season as well and few of them we already know we got Midas's touch I believe every time you eliminate someone that weapon turns into gold I mean that would be super OP we got another one called hunter gatherer which gives you spicy soda low gravity and energy regen effect every 12 seconds. We got Deft Hand, which auto reloads a specific unknown weapon every second, even if you switch away. We got one that gives you icy feet, and there's one called Rift Ejector Seat, which auto rifts you every time your shield breaks, but you will have 40 seconds cooldown for this. And Shadow Strikes gives you Shadow Bomb. We might get new motorcycles next season. Now, obviously this season, a motorcycle was a big part of the update. They're small and easy to ride, but next season we might get a faster motorcycles because Fortnite are working on two different motorcycle types, a cruiser and sport. Now currently we only have dirt bikes, which is good off-roading, but they're not very fast. If you look at all the cars, we have a cars that is like off-road and we have cars like Whiplash, which is you can drive on the road and they're very fast. So the sport bike is going to be very fast, but you can only ride them on the road and i guess cruiser is going to be like in between dirt bike and sport now next season we might get a collaboration that was mentioned almost two years ago by donald mustard i'm talking about modok after the galactus event donald mustard said that this was just the beginning of marvel collaborations and he mentioned he'd love to do something with modok now if you guys don't know modok is a villain from the marvel universe and the majority of this person is just his head. And we saw the first glimpse of Modok on Ant-Man vs. Wasp, the Quantumania trailer. And apparently, this is just going to be an introduction. Apparently, he's going to play a huge part in the MCU. So, it only makes sense for Fortnite to do a collaboration. And at this point, Fortnite has kind of become like part of Marvel Universe a little bit. We have pretty much every Marvel characters. Now, another funny guy we might see next season is a family guy. Now, according to Hypex, Fortnite has been working on a male skin codenamed French Fry. They found a scene of Peter Griffin versus the chicken in the files. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard
heard about the Family Guy collaboration. If you remember a few seasons ago, Fortnite did an Unreal Engine stream in which they leaked a bunch of characters and collaborations. For example, Darth Vader, Indiana Jones, Doom. Obviously, so far we have seen all of those collaboration happen except for one Family Guy. Also, if you've noticed, all of those collaboration has come part of the Battle Pass. Darth Vader, Indiana Jones, and now Doom. Now, this suggests to me that we are going to get Family Guy included in the Battle Pass in Season 2. Now, people have made concepts of how Peter Griffin is going to look like in Fortnite. And since we've seen characters like Rick from Rick and Morty, a bunch of other like anime cartoon characters in Fortnite, I'm pretty sure we are going to get Family Guy very soon. Now, there is a new weapon in the file. It is a flamethrower weapon. And it kind of looks like a shotgun. Every time you shoot, you're literally shooting fire. So most likely, this is a weapon you're going to see next season. Now, we don't really know how much damage this gun actually does. But from this video, you can see this is not a long-range weapon at all. This is a shotgun. I would not be surprised if we get this weapon this season as well. People are suggesting that Harold from last chapter is returning and she is not dead yet. Now, obviously, Harold destroyed the chapter 3, chapter 2, and chapter 1 map. And she did this by being part of the reality tree. And that part of the tree we found on this chapter 4 map. And you can clearly tell that's Harold. But what's interesting about this is that if you look from behind, you can see there is a hold and Harold is not inside. Meaning she has escaped and is on this Fortnite chapter 4 map. Hopefully next season we are going to find out more about this. Now, there's another thing that's coming next season is going to be one of the biggest thing that's ever happened to Fortnite since they released Battle Royale. We are obviously talking about Creative 2.0. Now, Creative 2.0 was set to be released at the beginning of the Chapter 4, but because of some technical difficulties, they could not do that. And Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Fortnite, has said that they're going to release Creative 2.0 around season 2. Now, even before Creative 2.0, right now we have seen a normal creative create amazing maps, and I believe this is going to be the future of Fortnite. Just like Roblox right now, you can literally create any game. You will be able to create anything in Fortnite. For example, you can create a Chapter 1 map or Chapter 2 map, and you can create your own weapons as well. Now, you might be wondering what happened to the 7. It looks like Paris Paradigm and a bunch of her friends are going to find the Seven by creating a rift gate. Now, this guy right here is called Stalin. He is building a rift gate and it is being commissioned and ordered by Geno. And the rift gate will have the power to access into different uh, realities. And Paradigm is going to use this gate to go into the reality wherever the scientist and rest of the Seven is stuck. They're all going to be brought back to this chapter. Now, this looks like the build-up to the live event because we already know this rift gate is being constructed as we speak. And I'm guessing this is going to be completed in Season 2. And at the end of Season 2, we are going to have a live event where they're going to use this portal gate to go into different realities. Now, Stalin says in this new quest, there is a being a shapeless man. He watches us with a dark purpose. Now, the man he's referring to is the nothing. Now, we heard about the nothing at the end of chapter three. If you remember, Bites was actually working for the nothing. And this nothing being does not have a shape, doesn't have a body or a face. It only has a voice. And we are going to find out more about this nothing at the start of the next season or maybe around the end of next season. Maybe he's going to make an appearance during the live event. Also, by reading this dialogue from the quest, it looks like the seven are not going to be the same. They're going to be a lot different because Amy, who's like this robot, says that he's different now. They're all different now as we speak, they change. And when she says they, she's referring to the seven. So it looks like next season we are going to have a brand new seven skins. 
friends again. And also, she says that there's a possibility they might all be evil now because of the chrome. We've all been, like, brainwashed. And there's a possibility we might have to, like, go against them to fight them or defeat them to break their curse or whatever to bring them back to the good side. Because obviously, we all love the Seven, the Foundation, and all of the members. I'm excited for Season 2. Let me know in the comments down below if you are. And please like and subscribe and use code SMJM. Peace out.